two topics just really quick. First, markets are down and gas prices are up. I know you always stress the difference between Wall Street and Main Street, but everybody seems to be in for some economic pain. How economically painful is it going to get for people in this country? And I do have one more question. First of all, there's no doubt that when a major nuclear power attacks and invades another country, that the world is going to respond, and markets can respond all over the world. So there's no doubt about that, number one. Number two, the notion that this is going to last for a long time is highly unlikely as long as we continue to stay resolved in imposing the sanctions we're going to impose on Russia, period. What's your next question? I'm sorry. The next question is, did you underestimate Putin? And would you still describe him the way that you did in the summer as a worthy adversary? At the time, he was, I made it clear, as an adversary, and I said he was worthy. I didn't underestimate him. And I've read most of everything he's written. Did you read the, I shouldn't I'm not a wise guy. The, you, you heard the speech he made, almost an hour's worth of speech is why he was going into Ukraine. He has much larger ambitions in Ukraine. He wants to, in fact, reestablish the former Soviet Union. That's what this is about. And I think that his, uh, his ambitions uh, are, are completely contrary to the place where the rest of the world has arrived. You're confident that these devastating sanctions are going to be as devastating as Russian missiles and bullets and tanks. Yes, Russian bullets, missiles, and tanks in Ukraine. Yes, I am.